Hi, I'm Sharon, um, and I am trying to do some like do-it-yourself craft kind of videos. Um, just because I thought it would be fun, and you know, why not? <laughs> so, um, my first one is Snapple Capple Buttons. Your Snapple Cap. Um, paper for your surface so that you don't, you know, so that you have a clean surface. Um, then I chose paint to cover my Snapple cap with. You can use whatever you want. Um, you know, I just thought paint would be easier because then I could, you know, draw on the paint or paint on the paint or whatever. And I thought white paint would be easy because then I could, like, you know, anything would show up really easily. But you can do whatever you want. It's totally up to you. If you're using paint, you will need a paintbrush, obviously. Um, and you also, whatever other supplies you plan on incorporating in your button, like um, you know, if you want to use beads or sequins or ribbon or anything, crayon, I don't know, <laughs> whatever you want to use. Um, yeah, you'll need that. And then I use Sharpies for the decoration on mine. So, you know, if you plan on doing yours like I did mine, then Sharpies will be on the list or any kind of permanent marker. Um, and paper. You will need paper for the back of the uh, button and I'll explain that um, afterwards. So without further ado I will start the process of making my Snapple Capple button. So first you take your Snapple Cap and um, basically what I did first was I just covered it with paint because then I have a nice clean canvas to work on. Uh, I thought it I just thought it would make it easier so um, so here is my Snapple cap now covered with the white acrylic paint and so now I just think it'll be really easy to cover it with whatever kind of decorations or designs I want to do um, I just thought it would be easier this way to, you know you can do again you can do it however you want um, but this is the way that I thought would be easiest um, so Next step is the fun part, and that's designing your button um, however you want. So, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, you know, for you could, if you're in an election, I mean, I don't know if you want to use something this um, homemade, but if you do, <laughs> if you're an artistic person in an election, go for it. And, you know, you can make it say, like, vote for so and so or you know so and so is the best <laughs> so I don't know um, or if it's like Valentine's Day and you can say like so and so is my Valentine or Valentine <laughs> and I don't know whatever um, for holidays you know St. Patrick's Day is coming up uh, whatever you want to do you can just kind of get in the spirit with a little button and some of my favorite words I had it say faith hope and love um, because I just love those words they're very inspiring and comforting um, and so mine's just, you know, a blue outline with the words in it, um, and then the white background. Again, you can make it so much more exciting than this. You know, you can add stuff. You can put, like, you know, little plastic gems all around it, um, to kind of add some sparkle. You can have ribbons hanging down. Um, you can put glitter on the outline, you know. You can make it way more exciting than this. Um. So yeah, it's totally up to you. Um, just have fun with it. That's the whole point of this is just have fun and express yourself. Um, so yeah, that's my button. Um, creativity part totally finished. I was talking about with the paper was you have to cut a circular um, piece of paper just slightly larger than the diameter of the um, button because you're going to um, tuck it. You're just kind of kind of tuck it in there. And then use some glue, and it's you're gonna glue it in. Basically, it's not too complicated. It just, just kind of got to kind of get a feel for it to get it in there, so that it doesn't stick out at all. Um, so yeah, once you get that done, then you pretty much have your button. Um, all that's left to do is to get a safety pin, stick it through there, and then pin it on your shirt, and you're ready to go. Well, I hope that video was entertaining or interesting or helpful to someone. Um, like I said, I, I don't know if this is the coolest craft out there. It probably is not. 
But I hope that you enjoyed my video, and I hope that I can bring more creative ideas to you um, in the future. But for now, bye!